hi everybody it is Andrew welcome back to the channel let me just try and straighten this tripod up a bit that's better today I'm going to show you all my Christmas colouring books as it stands on the 1st of December 2022 so some I've coloured in some I haven't so let's have a look so the first one I haven't coloured in uh, and it's a uh, Chibi Girls Christmas by April Amber. I'm going to try and colour in all the ones I haven't coloured in first and then move on to the next one. But you never know, it might not work that way. So these are cute, but I haven't coloured in them yet. I've got to find somewhere to put them as well because I've got so many books here. Uh, this is a new one as well, Christmas Colour by Numbers um, by Georgie Ferns. Again, this is, uh, I only bought this last month, but there's lots of detail in it. I have got some smaller pens I could potentially use now. So, yeah. So there's that one. And then we got Christmas colouring book. Celebrate and colour your way through the holidays. This one you can use markers in because you've just got the wallpaper on the other side. So that'll be fun and glitter and stuff. Colour in Heaven Christmas special. This is a old one this is issue 29 now I did start one in here and I had never finished it and it's this one by Ruth Sanderson and I just don't like the way that the ink looks on it um I will finish it I will finish it using the markers at some point but I don't know when it's gonna be a forever whip I think this year's Christmas a special is Christmas gnomes there's a flip through of this one on the channel I do want to color in this fairly soon um though gnomes aren't my favorite <laughs> Then I've got Make Time For Yourself Colour Art Seasonal Collection. Again, this is all Christmassy patterns and it's cakes, just Christmas tree. I think I got this a year ago or two years ago and I just haven't had a chance to colour in it, but hopefully this year I will. Uh, Christmas Colour By Number by Sachin Sachdeva. I have done a few in this one. Uh, I like my colour by numbers, as you know. So, so far I've done these with my various markers. I like that one. I think that one's really cute. <laughs> that's what I did in November. So that's that. I will be definitely colouring in that one again this month. i put that one down there because it will go downstairs. Um, Christmas Pattern Colour by Number by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I've done a few in here as well. I never do the title pages. I will eventually, I expect. Oh God, I can't turn the pages. This one has the quotes after it, which is annoying because you have to colour them as well. Well, I suppose you don't have to, but it counts as part of the book. I like that one. I think that one's really cute. That's all I've done in that one so far. I mean, most of the books, if I've actually coloured in them, it's one or two pictures. Stained Glass Christmas by Sachin Sachdeva. I'm working in this one at the moment. And I've done this one. These are really bright. I like them. And I've done that one. It's just those two so far. But it's a new book, so I haven't had it that long. And they've got 50 Christmas Madala Colour by Numbers by Sachin Sachdeva. Just pull them up here. I've done this one. I really do like these pattern books, so I keep them downstairs and do them when um, I'm watching TV with Jennifer and um, it's just really cute. I like that and that cracker one and that's the last one I did. And then I've got Christmas Colour by Numbers, Jade Summer. I've done a few in this one. I'm not sure how many but I have done a few. So I've had this for a couple of years. I got it when it came out. This one counts the images, which is always nice. I do like this book. The pattern, I prefer this one. I really like this Christmas colour by number book. See, I like, this one I even managed to do with just in gel pens, which was lucky because they didn't have that many different colours on it. I was able to, to work it. Um, that one. I probably could have with that one, really. I like that one, the mittens. 
Yeah, and that's what I did this year. Just that, no, it's not. I thought, oh gosh, that looks like the one I did this month. They all look, they all starting to look the same. That one I like. I've got to be honest. It's a white, white present in the middle of the thing. Don't know why. Well, I guess you could have coloured it whatever you wanted to. I like that one. I think that one's nice. And that one. Oh, that's the one I did in November. Yeah. So be colouring in that one again. So I do a lot of um, colour by numbers. Okay. Um, I've got this is one I haven't coloured in, which is the Beauty of Horror by Alan Robert, Ghosts of Christmas. So this is the small one, but because there's nothing on the back, you can use, if you so wish, your markers on it, which is nice, and I probably will. And then I got Coco Wire's Christmas, uh, Chibi Girl's Christmas. I haven't started in this one again, so I will be looking forward to colouring in that one as well.
I'm still looking for the picture in this one. There is one in here done. I just can't find it. Let's have a look. There it is. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That's nice, that one. I think that was last year as well. Another one called Cute Christmas. Oh, two Cute Christmas ones. And I know which one I did. I did this one with all gel pens and some markers. That was a while back. <laughs> and we got Easy Christmas Colouring Book. And I just did that one with my metallics and my gels. Just thought that would look nice. Well, that's the only one I did in that. I really must start doing more. I got a Whimsy Girls Christmas, which again is Hannah Lynn. I'm not sure if I've done one or two in this one. I've right, done that one. Yeah, I like that one. And I think there's another one somewhere. Right there. Another one? Yes, yeah, number four. It's just one straight after this one. I did the skater as well. I was back in 2017 as well, so I really got to crack on with some of these books. Then I've got Winter Dreamlands by Edwina McNamee. I don't know which one I've done in here, whether it was on the black background or the white. So, oh, yeah, I remember doing that one. That was nice. I enjoyed that. That was so cute. With various different bits and pieces. I also have Tin and Ola, again, by... And Weena McNamee again. This in two pieces of black and white and the and black background and white background. Um, Jennifer's home now. I might have to go downstairs and, and sort her. And I did this one. So I would probably do all the black background pages and let Jennifer have it to do the white background pages when I finished with it. So that was a while back as well. Oh, we got a couple more. Now. Pick up my next. Pile. As you can see, still more to go. I got uh, this is one I haven't coloured. This is a new one, Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. We've I've already seen these; they're adorable. So I want to colour in that one. I didn't realise I had so many colouring books I hadn't coloured in. Um, a Winter's Tale. This is this year's Relax with Art Holiday Special. So there's nothing in that one. Then this one is a Vintage Christmas. Again, this is Relax with Art. I have coloured in this one. I think it was the sat was it Santa I did or was it the it was the kids was there? I don't know. There's so many of them. Oh yeah, it was the the, the decorating the, the tree and that one took me ages to do that one. I was a whip up until uh, this year. <clears throat> we got Sherry Baldy's Santa's Little Helpers coloring book. I think I've only done one in here. I did that one. I like that one. I think she's so cute. But I think that's the only one I've done, unfortunately. I must do some more in that one because it's such a cute little book. And they don't take long to do either. And I've got Santa's Little Christmas Colouring Book by Colouring Book Cafe. I must have done one in here because it's come off my I Have Coloured in This book Bookshelf. Because I keep all my uncoloured books separate so I know what I have and what I haven't coloured in. I can't find the one in here, but there must be some in here because it has come off of that shelf. I think. Yes, that one. Santa. That was done doing super tips as well, I think. I think it just looks so cute. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you use to colour, it's just about having fun. Uh, this is uh, Relax With Art Issue 74, Merry Christmas. This was a Christmas one. This one is the only one I've done that. And again, this is one I finished this year. As it sat around for ages, I just couldn't be bothered to do it. <laughs> but yeah. I've got um, Creative Haven Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. And I think I've only done one in here. I love these, even though I've only done one and it was ages ago. <laughs> I've done this one. It was just all with gel pens, apart from the. No, it was all with gel pen. Very bright and colourful. And I also have 
vintage Christmas greetings creative haven colouring book um, I do like this one this is Marty Noble I've, again oh, that is gorgeous I must do some of this I've only done one I think it's because I've got so many books as you can tell we still haven't finished we're nowhere near I did this one May Christmas bring you loads of joy and again it was 2017 that was when I used to actually mark them I've got Ava Brown Christmas patterns so I'm wondering did I do this in yeah and I've done this one and I think that's probably the only one I've done yes it is the only one I've done in that book as well so as you can see I've got a lot I haven't coloured in and a lot I've done one or two pages in and I really really want to colour more next stack there'll be two more stacks uh this one is 100 christmas coloring book uh which is 100 pages four books in one by coloring book cafe now this is one uh, it's new i haven't colored in it at all yet but i am so looking forward to it like that bells will be nice and easy that one's nice oh look santa so i really want to color this one that's going in my pile to go downstairs to color it uh santa's workshop that's coloring heaven's collection from this year their christmas one Again, I haven't coloured in it, but I do like this one. I think it's really, really, really cute. Little elves. Christmas Mandalas uh, by Camellia Angel Cova. This is one of the smaller books. I know I've done one in here. Um, whether it's only one or I've done two, I don't know, but I'm going to have a quick look. Definitely done one. It's probably the very first one. Here it is. I did the first one which was just the bells and again it's all done with um, glitter gel pens which I absolutely adore so there's that one. Oh, there's Christmas colouring books everywhere I've got to put them away yet mm. colour it a colourful Christmas I don't have many colour it books they're very very expensive to get over here um, but I do like them you have to pretty much order them from Amazon America um, but I've done the this book belongs to page and that's it but I do like this book I will have to try and do some more of these I think yeah definitely I like that book the colour it books are really good and the paper is really really good quality Santa's Christmas grayscale colouring book by Ruth Sanderson I have got a whip in here that I started in November which is this one actually doesn't look too bad I'm going to be working on this throughout December I'm not sure what colour to make his sack I don't want it to be brown I don't want it to be bright red I'll have a think about that but anyway that's that one so far I need a bit more on his face his face is looking a bit pale but yeah so this is really hard grayscale to do so but I am working on that one let me put that one out of the way so I know where it is uh, nice little Christmas um, Tatiana Bogema this was colouring heaven a couple of years ago this was the year I got my subscription actually but this is not obviously the subscription one this is the extra I, I know it was the one from that year because i did this one and I, this was the faber castell or oh, what are they i can't think of what they're called anyway they i got them free with my subscription and I, I haven't used them since but they look really nice those pencils i'm gonna have to get them out here Jennifer downstairs so I have to go down in there Elves behaving badly of course this is another colour in heaven collection uh, there's still a bit of paper in it from when I coloured in it and I just did help stuck in undies nice simple thing to do you don't have to worry about it you can just nice simple pictures that you can just colour which is why I like that one I will be doing something in that one I hope I'm going to try and do one in every, as many books as I can, starting with the ones I haven't coloured in. Christmas Traditions, Colouring Heaven Collection. Uh, again, this was last year's, I think. It's Fabiana Atanasio. Well, I like that. Um, and I uh, did the posting the Christmas cards, which I really like, with the robin on the tree. I actually like the way that turned out. I don't know what pencils it was. Polychromos, I'm going to guess. She's singing Christmas songs, I think. They've got their concert next week. Is it next week? Or the week after? <laughs> they got their concert soon, anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's the only one I've done there, but I really like that picture. I was really proud of that. Oh, our very last stack is only a few books high. Hooray! Come and have a Christmas special. This one was issue 55 a few years ago. I must have done something in here. 
I know I have. Oh, I did that one, yeah, with the pebbles chalks for the background, which you can't really see because it's very light blue. And mostly glitter pens. Oh, I love my Colour in Heaven books. Uh, Cutesy Christmas Special, issue 68. I don't know what I've done in this one. That'd be... Ah, this is the one that has... Oh, there's an advent calendar in it I want to do, so I'm going to take it down and start doing it today. So there was two advent calendars. I did the advent calendar, and we did that one every day and posted it to the Current Heaven page. Oh, and I did this um, Mario Lubudec Santa, um, and I love these ones, and I know she's got some in the Christmas Gnomes book, and I just love... This is watercolour. I love using watercolour. The paper's not the best for it. It does crinkle, but it looks so, so nice. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I really, really love them. So I'm keeping this book out. I'm putting that in my pile to go downstairs so I can do the advent calendar and start doing that tonight. Another Christmas special from Colour in Heaven. <clears throat> and this is issue 81. So... Oh, there's some really nice ones in this one as well I haven't done. Oh, oh, oh yes, I remember doing this one. This this was um, Fabrica Fantasy, The Snow Beauty. I That was last year I did that, and I absolutely love that picture. I think she looks absolutely fantastic. Love it. Last two are Deborah Muller's, and I've got a uh, Christmas Fun Festive Girls colouring book. Again, only done one in here, and I did this one of her with the dog. I love Christmas, Christmas tree. And the other one is Fairy Merry Christmas. Again, I don't know which one I've done, but I know I've done one somewhere. Let's have a look. Haven't I? Sure I have. Maybe I haven't. I'm sure this came off the colour I've cut. Yes, there it is. I knew there was one. I love that one. I think that one is absolutely stunning. So those are all the Christmas colouring book I've got as of December the 1st, 2022. I am not going to say that's going to be it because I can't guarantee that I won't get any more. Either given to me for Christmas or because I'll just buy them because, you know, Christmas, colouring books, got to have them. So if you want to see me colour in any of these books, let me know which one's down in the comments below. You might notice that from today I'm going to start putting, from this episode, I'm going to start putting my email address in, in the description box. What I want is, if you want to do a buddy colour, send me an email or look me up on Instagram, Andy P underscore 74, um, and send me an email. Now, if you're sending me an email, put in block colour, block letters, buddy colour or colour in, so I'll pick it up because I get so many emails and if I, it's not got colour in, in there somewhere I won't see it. So buddy colour or colour in, put it in the email, let me know. Or you, like I said, you can message me on, on Instagram or on TikTok and on TikTok my account is Andrea Life. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you want to, me to colour in and I'll see you all very very soon. Bye!